I'm David Gauntlet. This is the intro video for an elective course called Your Creative Self at what we now call the Creative School at a university in downtown Toronto that is being renamed, thank goodness. The course is called Your Creative Self and that's what it's about. It's about your creative self. It's not the kind of course where you learn a bunch of knowledge which you then regurgitate in an exam, something like that. It's a journey of discovery about your actual creativity. Hopefully you've got some kind of creative practice or something you like to do. Maybe you used to be more creative and you're not doing it so much now. As it says in the course blurb, you may work with companies and in collaborations and with other people during the course of your life. Of course, you'll go in and out of different relationships like that. But the one thing you'll always have is your creative self. It's about all kinds of creativity, whether you do poetry, painting, design, engineering, coding, whatever it is, creativity is broad and many things. And it, it's not necessarily about arty kind of things. It's whatever you want to explore that is creative. We'll talk about the meaning of making, why you do what you do, where you want to take it, how you can find inspirations and be an inspiration to others getting out there and getting noticed and we've got a lot of amazing guests that I'm really pleased to have got such a good lineup of guests. <laughs> guests I've lined up so far include Habiba El Said, she's a ceramic artist, really interesting, does some amazing stuff. There is VJ Smith, she is a DJ and electronic music producer. There's Kalesen Kalajalvan, he's a composer of soundtracks and other music. There's Justine Woods, who's an indigenous artist and fashion designer. There's Nia Abdullahai, who is a filmmaker and multidisciplinary artist. There's Marguerite Leandra, who has a YouTube channel. And I think that's all the ones I booked so far. Um, but I lined up some interesting people. I might add a couple more if boss. It's always nice to have a guest. They come along and talk to us. We ask them questions. It's interesting. Um, so, COVID's still with us. Uh, I taught this course once in person, and that is its natural form, because it's meant to be interactive, workshoppy. We do lots of stuff together, sitting around tables, talking, all that kind of thing. Then there was COVID. Um, I did actually manage to make it work, so I've taught it one time on Zoom before. Uh, we made it work. Ideally, you've got your video on. That really, really helps. We've got a lot of interaction and back and forth. It's a conversation between you and me. I can give you things to do. So it's not the kind of course where you're like sitting back and watch like a video of a lecture. That may be your learning style. If that's your learning style, then you might want to look for a different course. Because this is a course where we're interacting and doing stuff together. Um, I'll say, you know, get your pen out, do this, do that, do a thing, put some words into these boxes and it turns into something. We can do these things. It works. It's all right. Um, I didn't want to be teaching like where we all have to wear masks, which seems that's not right. I like to have a level of human connection, which it turns out you can kind of do on Zoom. COVID is far from being a perfect situation, but 
You're familiar with it. We'll make the best of it. It'll be great to get going with this class. I'd love to meet you and have conversations and talk about creativity. And I'm sure we can creatively flourish together. That's the whole point. I'll see you soon. Thanks.